Thanks for clicking play and welcome to the video. Today, I'm going to attempt to make something that will actually sell. So no more two foot high fertility statues with a stupidly expensive price tag, which is still for sale on my Etsy store for the low, low price of £1,000. I've been enjoying learning about woodwork and making these videos, but I need more tools and I'm always skinned. So I was thinking, could an absolute beginner like me make something quite quickly that would actually sell? It's got to have a decent amount of profit in it. It's got to be easy and quick to make, and it's got to look interesting as well. And that's where I was struggling. Then I was hanging out at my friend's house who have good taste when it comes to furniture. And I was taking the mick out of this coffee table because I just thought I could do a much better job. And then they told me they paid 150 quid for it. And my eyeballs instantly turned to pound signs or dollar signs, whichever image I can find for this video. So as usual, I'm not going to buy any wood for this project. We're just going to use whatever scraps I've got in my house. I did really want to use pallet wood, but I don't have any pieces that are long enough. And if I was going to layer them up to get the right length, it would take hours of sanding. And the aim is speed on this project. So I've had this stuff lying around from an old shelf that I dismantled, just waiting for the perfect project. So we've got the wood and obviously we need legs as well. I ordered those from Amazon. They cost about £18. Before I can plan out what I'm going to do and start cutting wood, I've got to wait for them to arrive because I don't know exactly where they go and how they look and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to cut to the legs arriving and getting on with this project. I've not got enough wood. thought I'd have loads here, but... Yeah, I've only got enough to do the top section. I still need some wood to do the frame. So let's see what else I've got. The wood's looking really nice and pretty now with some crisp, clean edges, but I don't want that. I want it to look rough and ready and like reclaimed wood. So I'm gonna try and make it look horrible. Next I'm moving on to the frame and for anyone who knows me this is part of the old first racking. At this point I realised I didn't know any fancy ways to join angled corners. And this project was all about speed so I didn't want to waste time learning. So I just decided to stick them together because the legs should offer some support once they're attached. I do want this piece to look rustic, but I also want it to look well finished. The edges are not straight and that is really bothering me and there's a bit of an overhang. So we are going to use the router and straighten it up, see what it looks like and take it from there. Remember, I'm still making this stuff up as I go along. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now that it's all sanded and varnished, you might be thinking, stick the legs on, jobs are good. Wrong! Because I'm making this piece to sell, I don't want someone jamming some screws in and putting the legs on wrong. So, we're going to fit them properly. I've ordered these little thingies which go into the wood and then some screws which go in, which makes the legs attachable and removable and it should look all neat and nice. It should also make sending it a lot easier. Okay, uncharted territory for me, doing an outro where there wasn't any problems. Never done a video where everything's gone so smoothly before. The table turned out amazing. It's so good, I have put it in my living room until it sells, because that's what this project was about. Building something that looks proper good and then selling it on Etsy. So how much did it cost to make? First of all, the legs, they were $18.99. I think they were reduced from £21. Got them from Amazon. I will stick the link in the description below. Next was these little screw insert things just to make it look a little bit more professional and be able to remove the legs easily. These were $6.99 a pack and I needed two packs. And because I wanted to make this look nice and a bit more professional, I purchased some 20mm M5 screws to finish it off. Listing the table for sale at £150 on my Etsy store, delivery in the UK. Delivery is probably going to cost me about £9. All the bits cost me £41. So, going to be looking at a profit of about £100, which will be nice. That'll go towards new tools, bigger tools fancy looking tools, I don't know. I really do want a wood thickness, so I think it's going to go towards that. But if I made it out of pallet wood, I would make even more money. And at the start of the video, I said I couldn't make it out of pallet wood because I didn't have big enough lengths. But it's been really annoying me that I couldn't do that, so I'm going to challenge myself to make one out of pallet wood. But I've got a couple of other interesting projects on the go as well, so I don't know which video is going to come out first. You'll have to, like, pay attention to the channel or Subscribe, that's what people do, don't they? Meh. So if you made it this far, thanks very much for watching. If this thing's been useful, please, you know, hit the like button or say thanks or something like that. It's just polite, isn't it? As usual, if you've got any tips, questions or suggestions, stick them in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.